In this presentation, we'll look at how to navigate the SAP ERP environment. Once you've logged in to your SAP environment using the login username and password provided by your SAP administrator, you will come across this screen. You can see there's a menu bar over here where you can go and type in the transaction codes. And you also see some icons over here. And if you click on this section over here, you will see this menu bar with the relevant headers. And here you see something called SAP Easy Access, which is your SAP Easy Access menu. You have a favorites folder. Then you have many different subfolders. These are where most of your SAP standard transactions are held under the SAP menu path. You can see the different categories are here. The one we will be accessing most of our transactions will be under the accounting menu path. If you expand the accounting menu path, you can see financial accounting, financial supply chain management, controlling and so on. If you look at the financial accounting module and you expand that path, you can see the sub components of the financial accounting module. And if you further expand the sub component of this financial accounting module, for example, if you expand the general ledger module, you will see all the necessary transactions over here. You have the master records folder over here. Restore all your transaction records. Information systems means the reporting side of the folder, which means you can access all the relevant reports. For example, if I want to see the master records, I can expand this section. And if I want to create some master records for general ledger accounts, I can expand this. And even further levels are here. For example, if I expand this, I get to create the GL accounts. Here, the characters you see in front are the transaction codes. For example, the transaction code here is FS00. The description here is to centrally create the GL accounts. So I can simply double click on this and it will take me to the transaction code here. And if I click on this icon, which is a back icon, it will take me back to the main screen. Now you can also enter the transaction code in this menu bar over here. If you do not want to go through all this menu path and if you simply remember the transaction code, you can just directly type in the transaction code here. For example, I can just type in FS00 and press enter and that will take me to the transaction screen. I can simply click on back and come back to the main screen over here. Another option is to add the, your favorite transaction codes or the transition codes which you use very frequently to your favorites menu. So the simple way is to just right click on the transition code over here and say add it to favorites. And you can see that comes up over here. Similarly, in the favorites menu also, you can right click and click on insert transaction. And here I can enter another transaction code. Probably I can write in this one, FSP0. FSP0, just type that in. Press enter to continue and you can see now they are in the favorites. You can create folders inside your favorites to make it much easier for you. For example, I can just right click on this favorites folder, click on insert folder and I'm going to call this GL master data. Press OK to continue. And then I can move these transactions inside my folder. Just simply have to drag and drop. Again, same thing here. I can just simply drag and drop it over here. If I want to rearrange the orders within the folder, simply have to click on this up and down arrow and I can move them up or down. So now I have got my two transactions inside my favorites folder called GL Master Data. And from here also, I can execute the transaction simply by double clicking on that. And that will take me to the transaction screen. So that's how you can use your transactions by in your favorites folder. Now let's look at opening multiple sessions. Suppose you want to have many screens run at the same time. Then if you want to open a new session, simply click on this icon over here. If you click on that, a new session will open. Depending on your SAP administrator setup, you can open up to six to eight sessions. And here you can see I can have two parallel sessions running at the same time. Now I can just open another transaction code, for example, FB50, I can just type that in, 
and that will take me to the FB50 screen over here. So I can have another transaction code running in this screen as well. For example, I can type FB01. So I have now I have two sessions running at the same time, simply shown like this. If I want to add more sessions, I can just simply click on this button to create new sessions. If I want to close one session, I just simply have to type in slash n and that will close this session and take me back to the main screen. Let me try one again. This time I'm going to open FB60, type that in. And suppose I want to close this session and open another session at the same time with a transition code. Then I type slash n to close this, but open a new session. I'm going to type in something like FSP0, press enter to continue. So what happens is that this session is closed and is replaced with a new session, the transaction code which I typed in FSP0. You can see the transaction code by simply expanding this icon over here. That will show you the transaction code at the bottom of the screen as well. And you can go back and come to the main screen. Now if you want to open a new session, you simply have to do by clicking on this icon as I mentioned earlier. There's another option that if you want to keep this session active and open a new session with the transaction code, then type in slash O and type in the transaction code. For example, I'm going to type in the transaction code FK01, press enter to continue, and that will keep the session existing as it is and open a new session, new transaction code. So that's how to open a new session by keeping the existing session active, then you have to put slash O and type in the relevant transaction code. There are also many other icons available in this menu bar over here. You can see this is a familiar icon to print the session or to print whatever is in the screen. And this is to find something in the SAP session which you have opened. For example, if you want to find a transaction code in this session or when you're running some reports, if you want to find something, just simply click on this and type in the information which you want to find. This icon will find the next session. If there are multiple words in the same or world words or characters, whatever you want to find one after the other, then you simply have to click on this icon to find the next field. This is to go on to the first page. If you have opened a lot of pages, previous page, go down to the next page. And this is to go down to the last page. Now let's look at one transaction and see some more icons. Simply double click on one of these transactions. Here you can see something called GL account, company code and so on. Now if you would like to see more information with regard to this field, now this is GL account. If you want to know more about the technical details, for example, which table this is coming from, what is this field name, then simply click on F1 in your keyboard. And that will give a basic description. It says GL account number identifies GL account in chart of accounts. And if it's highlighted in blue, you can simply click on that to find more information regarding that field. And that will give you a definition of what is a chart of accounts. You can simply go back over here. And if you want to know the table name and the field name of this particular field, then click on this icon, which looks like a set of tools. Click on that and that will show you what is a table name. This is a long table name given over here. There are shorter table names also available, but we are going just a bit more technical. In you simply want to know more information, then you can go on to this section. And this gives you the field name of this as well. And you can close this transaction. You use the orange arrows over here to exit a transaction and the red circle with the X over here to cancel a transaction. So from this transaction, we saw that if you click on this, it will go back to the original screen or the main, the last screen. And if you click on this, you're going to exit the transaction. So let me just click on that and it takes me back to the main screen. And if you have typed in something and you want to cancel the, those entries, something like this, and you have done some entries, for example, I'm just going to type in some information. And if I want to cancel all these entries, then simply click on this icon to cancel the entries. And says data has been changed. Should the data to be should the changes to the data be saved, 
click on no to cancel the entries and then you can simply go back to the main screen you can change some screen settings using this icon over here customize local layout simply click on that and click on options over here you can increase or decrease your font size of how it looks like currently the font says courier new font type with size 13 and proportional font settings are tahoma with size 13 you can change this fix with font settings by simply clicking on select and you can choose a different type of font if you require to do so and you can also increase or decrease the sizes and if you're happy with your settings simply click on ok and that will be saved now for the settings to take effect you have to log out and log in back into the system again let's look at another setting which is available simply click on this icon again to customize the local layout click on options and here you can even change the theme of the setting as well now this shows the activate animated focus if you do not want any of these or show shadow border you can simply untick them you can also define your colors also by clicking on color settings and then simply click on colors in system and then you can see there are many different colors available the default one is the blue layout over here mm. sap signature default you can also choose a different color as well for example if i want to choose gold simply click on gold and you can see the color has been changed to gold theme and click on ok and it will apply the changes log off and log in back again and the changes will take effect if you have multiple sessions running and you want to log off all them at once then simply type in slash nex and press enter in your keyboard and that will log off all the sessions at once then after you log in back to the system again you can see the changes have been applied and the SAP environment is in gold theme all the subsequent screens will also be the same color theme as well and if you want to make the changes back again you simply click on this go to options go to colors in system and then you can change back to the default one by clicking on SAP signature default press OK and close the transaction and log in back again and you'll we'll get back to your original screen if you have typed in a few transaction codes in this menu bar and if you would like to go back to them and if you cannot recall simply click on this down arrow over here and that will give you your previously used transactions and from here you can just simply select the transaction which you want to execute and press enter to continue or click on this icon over here and that will take you back to the transaction code and here you can specify the entries if you want to select an example a document date then simply click on this icon over here and you can select a document date from the system by simply double clicking on an entry if you want to see what are the available entries in the system you can also click on f4 in your keyboard that is your function key f4 in your keyboard and that will also will give you the list of all the available functionalities for example i am selecting in the currency section and you can see all the available currencies in the system and you can simply double click in on any of those currencies to make the transaction there are many more icons you will see across when you use sap some are quite familiar for example this icon is quite universal that is to save a transaction or to save a document or any type of saving transactions and once you are getting more and more familiar with the course you'll be going across many different type of icons and you'll become more comfortable in using sap so once you get your login username and password to your sap environment have a feel around playing around some entries in the system, type in a few transaction codes, add some favorites, create some favorite folders and be familiar with the icons used in the SAP environment. It's quite easy and once you get more and more practice, you will be able to recall all these icons very frequently.